This is a story about two guys from Brooklyn. One who played shortstop for the Yankees and one who calls himself the Bird King. It's also a story about a group of men who get together every Sunday in a small park in Queens for a competition between their finches. But most of all, it's a story about New York as a city of immigrants. What percentage of New York City's population is foreign born? Um, I'd like to say above 25%. Above 25? 35%. 85. Maybe about 40%. 40% of people living in New York City were born in a foreign country, which is equivalent to the population of the Bronx, Manhattan, and Staten Island combined. Of all those people, can you name the top five countries of origin? Dominican Republic. That's number one. China? China is one of them. Mexico. Mexico? Oh, Mexico. Mexico. What's number four? Not Jamaica, is it? It is Jamaica. Jamaica? Oh, wow. Number five is kind of a tricky one. India. Japan. Ecuador. Iran. Canada. <laughs> Russian. Number five on the list is a small country in South America that nobody we spoke to guessed. Guyana. Guyana. Really? I never would have guessed that. Guyana. Oh, uh, Guyana's wait, number five. I from there. Yeah, she went to my yeah? school. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Tell me about her. She was really cool. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about Guyana? It's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place. You've been there? Look up. Can you tell me a little bit about the Guyanese community in New York City? Guyanese community, as per the U.S. Census 2020, we are 1.2 million here in the United States. Uh, the Guyana population is allegedly 750,000, so we are more of Guyana than Guyana is Guyana. Many Guyanese immigrants live in the Richmond Hill section of Queens, which is also known as Little Guyana. In the heart of Little Guyana is a park named for a local legend. Philip Francis Rizzuto was born in Brooklyn, but grew up in Queens. His parents immigrated from Italy. His father worked as a streetcar motorman. At Richmond Hill High School, he was a star on the football and baseball teams. In 1937, Phil Rizzuto was drafted by the New York Yankees to play shortstop. He was five foot, six inches tall. In his 13 year career, he won seven World Series championships. In 1950, he was the league MVP. The Yankees retired his jersey number 10. A few blocks from Rizzuto's old high school is a park originally known as Smoky Oval Park. The name was a reference to the soot and ash from a nearby Long Island railroad yard. In 2008, the park was renamed after Phil Scooter Rizzuto. But for the people who hang out there every Sunday, it's still known as Smoky Oval Park. Tell me what's going on. Smoky Park. Uh, Queens, New York. And this is a common thing we have here on the weekend. This is a tradition we um, brought from back home, from the older folks. Uh -huh. And um, this is like a, a hobby for us. This is just singing competition. Is it just for bragging rights or is there something it's else? It's for that's... bragging rights, it's for coffee, it's for lunch, you know what I'm saying? Every time you pause, there's one. If you go to Guyana, you see this in yeah, a lot of Guyana, places. Guyana, Suriname, Trinidad, and Brazil. The first one to chirp 50 won. That's the race. Yeah. Six. Seven. Seven. But it's really just about it's the community. The community. The guys with the be better birds got better bragging rights. Like, oh, that's the guy with the good bird, you know? So you're... I'm actually the exporter here. I import these birds legally. How many birds do you own? I got about 150 birds. You guys can come by the house. I'd love to show you the rest of the birds. Ray is one of the few people in the country with a legal permit to import birds from Guyana. This is why he's known as the Bird King. But legal permits are difficult to obtain, and with certain birds selling for upwards of $10,000, some people resort to illegal bird smuggling. A smuggling arrest at JFK Airport. A man flying in from Guyana was arrested at JFK Monday after being caught smuggling nearly three dozen finches. Hiding 34 live birds. Investigators say the birds are often entered into so-called singing contests in Brooklyn and Queens. I've never seen anything like this in somebody's garage. How much are we talking? You're looking at about $100,000 worth of birds in here. So what's going to happen with these birds? You're looking for buyers? Uh, I, I don't look for buyers. Everybody knows. They come to you. Yeah, everybody knows where, where the birds are. When guys come, they want to buy a bird. They sit here, they take a look. They see a bird they like, I bring it out and show it to them. You know? Is this your career? No, I'm an HVAC guy. I work for Carrier Corporation. This is my hobby. I turn it into a business. Which yeah. business is more lucrative? HVAC is my bread and butter. <laughs> <laughs> I was an electrician. Yeah? And it's easy to become an air conditioning mechanic being an electrician because 90% of the issues with air conditioning deal with electric. This is the castle, I guess. This is the castle. I have a penthouse with the birds too. So you're just growing the compound? Yeah, I got birds up there. You think of New York as this, like, it's a concrete jungle. This is Guyana here, man. Uh, these are the, some of the birds that came out of quarantine and they're not, they're not too well. My wife take care of all these birds in here. 
Did you grow up with birds in the same way? I didn't grow up with birds. I just grew to love them though, by being here and looking after them. It's like they're my pets. Only like what, three weeks ago? It was packed with birds upstairs, downstairs. It was so clustered. And look, now they're like almost gone. What's the difference between Guyana and New York? New York is just faster. Everything is faster. Like in Guyana, I mean, you know, it's not the richest place, but it's like more family oriented. The birds make you sort of slow down. And, and like, like I said before, it's like a part of home here. It, it brings back a lot of memory and a lot of familyhood. And, you know, it brings you back to that certain place. I, I, I go to sleep thinking about birds. <laughs> yeah, that's all this is. Everybody just coming together and, you know, bringing back to what they once had when it was younger. Thank you for having us yeah. out here. Thank you. It's really cool to see this. You guys could come anytime. When people are passionate about yeah. something, it's a beautiful thing. Oh, we are very passionate about this.